failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? <sighs> what are you doing? <sighs> Gion mi me hocha. Cabo je am prish gabi mi rish. You're too late! You will not get him! It'll work. It must. joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. Son, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Sir, how much longer until we reach the castle? Almost there, sir. 
just like two hours ago. The estate really does lie off the beaten track. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What a curious object. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Uh, please follow me, Master David.
Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. There is no denying it. We are family. Magnificent. That is the master's study, sir, but there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Does that sometimes, sir? <laughs> Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon? Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon, but I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. This is a piece of a model. <sighs> I can barely see my hand in front of me. Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Not many matches left. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. The candle is nearly gone. 
but it should do for a while once lit. Ah, just what I need. I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. Later. We meet again, old foe. A dumb waiter, big enough to fit your own weight and food into. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? <coughs> Good evening, Master David. You're up late? I'm having trouble sleeping, and I thought I'd do some exploring. Is this what Father meant by a family of snakes? Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gorton is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? I noticed that the door to the Master's study is locked. Might I get a key for it? Of course. I will see to it that you are supplied with one, if there is one available. No door should be locked to the soon-to-be owner, after all. That looks... daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland? Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died. So, none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. 
I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Father must have left something for me in the master's study. I suppose I could ask Mr. McKinnon to open it for me in the morning, but I'll have him breathing down my neck. And who knows what I'm to find. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you, but Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. Shame. Attics often speak volumes about the owners of a house. 